Hello and welcome everyone to uh, the Lab 2.3 Part 1. This time we are going over the uh, very first uh, part of the lab in which we're coding. So the challenge here is that we basically want to recreate a snap program into a Python program. So um, I don't have it up on my screen right now, but I have it up on my other screen. So you should be seeing an overlay right now. I'll try and make it fit just so you can uh, be able to see what's going on and what I'm kind of replicating. So um, this program is our guessing game for what kind of triangle we're looking at. And as you can see here, I have my inputs up here. Um, I made my inputs convert to float because float will actually allow me to um, check the decimal places if I have any or if someone puts any in. But I don't plan to do a whole lot of testing on this program, so I think they're fine for now. So the first one, the first condition that we want to do um, is our condition on whether this actually makes sense as a triangle. So we want to see if this is physically possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my condition like this. And again, you kind of want to set these things up before you just start plugging in variables just so you can see if it makes sense. Um, so here I have three different conditions that I'm checking and I want them to be all uh, uh, not, not exclusive, but dependent on each other, right? So the first thing I'm going to say is, is the x coordinate, and I'm just copying and pasting because that's much easier, plus the y coordinate uh, equal to the, oh, I'm sorry, not equal to, greater than the z coordinate. So I'm gonna grab it from right here and put it right there. And just so I can have this in a much neater little block, I'm gonna put parentheses around it. And you can see, have this very first section right here. I just wanna say, hey, are these two sides greater than the third side? Otherwise it's too short and it would be a solid line, not a triangle. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this and I'm actually just gonna replace this. I'm gonna replace this. And I am just gonna pretty much copy and paste variables. I mean, honestly, for this one, you just want to make sure that you swap the variables around. So here I have X coordinate plus Z coordinate is greater than the Y coordinate. And here I would just be testing my final side, which is the X side. So I believe X coordinate plus Z coordinate. And here my final piece would be the Z coordinate. All right, so here I'm saying I want X plus Z. Uh, to be greater than y, I want z plus y to be greater than x, and finally this other condition. Um, of course, if this is not true, we can actually fill in our elf condition that we already have set up, and we want to simply say print. I forget if we need to print false or true. I think I can just print out, you know, hey, this is not a triangle. Saying this, this is not a triangle. Um, and that's pretty simple. That's that's the first step of it, right? We're just replicating what we have on the other screen. Um, and then the next thing I'm gonna say is, first I wanna say what the uh, perimeter of the triangle is. This one actually is incredibly easy. We're just gonna say um, X chord plus Y chord plus Z chord right here. And we're just gonna print out that uh, result. And I actually think I can just do that. And that's it, it's as easy as that. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check for what kind of triangle this is, right? So I want another if statement and um, the way that this is looking is that we basically want uh, an if, another if, and then uh, an else with nested ifs. So what I'm going to say is if, right? And I'm going to say L if, and then I'm going to say else, oh, nope. Remember, else triggers if the other two conditions aren't true, uh, but theoretically, the uh, these ones, actually, I'm gonna have them like this just to keep it a little bit simple for now. Um, this one can trigger, this one can trigger, and this one triggers if those two are not true. So here, I'm going to say if, um, looks like x plus x equals z plus z. So here, on this top one, I'm gonna say if um, x chord times x chord and I'm just going to keep it simple for now so I don't get too crazy with the math plus and then I'm going to rip this actually I'm going to surround this so I'm just copying the equation again that's in the picture um, so if you're like okay well this isn't exactly making sense to me um, that's totally fine 
it should just be pretty much what's in the snap program. So if x chord is x chord um, is equal to z coordinate z coordinate. So pretty much I'm just going to do the same thing in that, right? Copy that, paste here, and now I'm just going to go grab a z coordinate. And I'm going to say grab y coordinate again. This is the, I believe it's Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem. Um, that just says, hey, if these, if this equation proves true, if the angle are, if the last, the larger angle is the sum of the two smaller angles, then you have a right triangle. So here I will say this is a right triangle. That's pretty much it. Um, and remember, this is, uh, we're checking to see, we're pretty much going right here. What we're doing is we're multiplying these two numbers together. We're squaring them. We're adding that to these two numbers squared together. And since I have all these in parentheses, this little piece right here is going to execute. It's going to say, okay, this number is 15, or let's say 25. And it's going to go over and it's going to say, is that equal to our Z coordinate right here? And you can see, I just messed my code up. And it's going to say, is that equal to the square of my Z coordinate? Are these two numbers equal? If it's five, then it would say true. And it's going to go ahead and execute my print statement down here. And then my next if, I want to check if this is an equilateral triangle. So basically, I'm just going to say um, if the, and I'm going to go ahead and pull this up so I can see my code a little bit better. Um, if the X, and you know what? I don't even need these parentheses right here. If X chord is equal Y chord, and if the uh, X chord is equal to Z chord, then I am going to execute my print statement, which is just going to say this is an equilateral triangle. And that's it. So again, I'm checking this. I'm saying, hey, is it a right triangle? Then I'm dropping down my other if statement. I'm saying, hey, is it an equilateral triangle? And here I want to say um, it is, let me check and see what it is. We're basically checking if it's an isosceles triangle or a scaling triangle, right? So here, my ELF statement has in it an if statement, which we're going to populate. And then if that doesn't populate, we know that it's only going to be one thing. And I'm actually just going to put my print statement right here. I'm going to say print. This is a scaling triangle. I don't know why I capitalized the T in triangle. And if not, I'm going to print or I shouldn't say if not, the first thing that we're checking is if it's isosceles. So we'll say this is an I saw. And of course, I don't know how to spell I saw Sally's triangle. All right. Um, here, the uh, thing that we're checking is basically seeing if uh, Z is equal to X or if um, pretty much if I think it's just if one set of uh, sides are equal to each other. So here I'm going to say if let me get rid of that. Z chord is equal to Y chord or Z chord is equal to X chord or if, uh, what's our final one? It'd be if X chord is equal to Y chord. And there we go. That's our full set of code. Um, that is how you set up the thing. Again, you're just copying the same code that's already in that SNAP program. If you're familiar with SNAP, you, you know what this looks like. You've done this before. Um, and we're basically taking this more complicated block of code, at least is how it looks in um, in SNAP, and we're, we're condensing it into our Python, and we're learning our conditions, right? Um, so again, uh, you have your if statements. You have and that's checking for multiple different things and making sure that those things are all true. Um, and then you have your or statements as well that are checking if everything is, uh, if at least one of your set of conditions is true. And then we're nesting that inside of our different if and else statements. Thank you all very much.